Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. In this video, I'm gonna answer a question that was emailed to me and it was, what is choline? What's the benefits of choline? Because people hear so many things about choline, it's, but it's hard to understand if you don't understand the mechanism of the brain and the nervous system. But before I do that, if you're new to my channel, thank you very much. Two seconds, hit the subscribe button down below and right next to it is the bell notification because when I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified. Facebook fans, I always appreciate a growing audience. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. If you like what you see, please hit the like button and please share with a friend. Even on YouTube, if you like what you see, please share with a friend. I always appreciate a growing audience. If you want to schedule me for a consultation for 15 minutes, please follow the link below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions or concerns for 15 minutes on the phone or if you want to do a Zoom call. But thus, yeah, you could follow the link below and you could get a hold with Diane. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this is Chester. He's our dog and he is barking. In order for him to stop barking, I gotta carry him. So I apologize for the distraction. But what is choline? Choline's actually, it's very unique because it's not considered a vitamin, it's not considered a mineral. It's actually involved, it's considered part of the B vitamins because the B vitamins, remember, are good for the function of the nervous system. Now, what choline is, it's a precursor for the neurotransmitter acetylcholine which is phenomenal for the function of how the nerves communicate with each other. So choline is critical to make acetylcholine, which in turn, the brain needs it for communication between the neurons. In addition, it will slowly increase the communication of the ner nervous system, and also it's good for cellular repair. So the main thing that choline is good for, it's a, it's a methyl donor for gene expression. In addition, for the repair of DNA, it helps with nerve signaling and also too, cellular detoxification throughout the body. So there's many functions of, of choline, but I'm just gonna list six here. So first and foremost, cellular health. Now all of our cells in our body were made out of two things, fatty acids and proteins. So all the cells in our body have a double layer of fat called a phospholipid bilayer. And choline is needed to help build the phospholipid. So it will help improve the structure of the cell membrane. It's good for brain health. When you have a decline in cognitive function due to diet, due to not enough choline, what's gonna happen? You're gonna have brain fog. So it's good for the nerve health. Remember, it's, it's important precursor for acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is a very, very important neurotransmitter to help improve the function of the nervous system, especially for the brain. DNA production. DNA production, along with folate and B12, we need choline for the production of DNA, which also too bleeds over to cellular repair. Signaling, the more acetylcholine that is available will increase the communication between the neurons. So when it comes to signaling, it helps build the molecules that acts as the cell messengers. This is why if you're depleted in choline, you have cognitive, cognitive decline, you have poor memory, you have irritability, and so forth and so on, you can't remember things. Heart health, yeah, heart health, it's phenomenal for your heart. Now, when it go to blood labs, the main blood marker is homocysteine. If that's elevated, that's a sure indicator that something's wrong with your heart. So what choline does, it helps remove homocysteine, which in turn will help lower the chances of heart disease. In addition to fetal development, during pregnancy, remember, choline is needed for, as a methyl donor, for gene expression in their pair of DNA. So in fetal development, it'll ha enhance the cognition of the unborn, in addition to prevent dearth, uh, birth deflects, defects. So with choline, where do you get it? Where is it found? How do you get deficient in it? Typically, you get deficient in choline by a couple things. One, medications. Some medications will block the absorption of choline or poor diet, poor gut health. Now, what is low, now again, when it comes to deficiencies, what happens? Poor memory focus, because why? Because choline helps build the myelin sheath, will help improve the communication for the neurons. Liver problems, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, it's deadly. There's many people that have it. And one thing that choline does Choline helps build phosphal, phosphatidylcholine, which helps remove the fat from the liver, which will help decline the chances of any type of liver diseases. Mood imbalances, remember the cognitive function. We need choline to improve our cognitive function. If you're depleted, what happens? Mood imbalances. 
anxiety, muscle fatigue, muscle fatigue, myasthenia gravis. That is an autoimmune disease. What, what it does, it eats away the acetylcholine. But we need acetylcholine to signal the muscles to contract, which it turns over, you have lower endurance in athletes. People, or athletes or people in general who have lower, lower uh, amounts of choline, they don't have the endurance as they once had. Now, how do you get it? Now, the recommended daily allowance is 50 milligram, 50 to 600, I'm sorry, 500 to 600 milligrams per day. Now, some of the foods, it's found in a lot of meat. Beef liver, for example, three ounces of beef liver, you're getting 356 milligrams. Hard boiled eggs, one, one hard boiled egg loaded in choline, about 150 milligrams. Remember, the daily dose is anywhere from 500 to 600. Chicken breast, three ounces, 72 milligrams of choline. Kidney beans, a half a cup, 45 milligrams. Broccoli, a half a cup, 32 milligrams. Now, the, the dosage, this is just the, what, I, what I found off the internet. So I don't want people to say, well, exactly, it's this amount. Good for you, thank you. I'm just giving the generalized amount. Now, some people prefer to take a supplement. You could take a supplement of choline, choline bitterate. You could take that anywhere from 500 milligrams to 3,000 milligrams a day. And it depends on, it depends on uh, how you are doing. If you're too depleted, then you may want to load up. And one of the side effects of taking a choline as a supplement is you're going to get irritability. If so, remember, it's just water soluble. It's not fat soluble, just lower the dosage. Okay? So I hope this helps. Choline is a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal ingredient to have. Remember, because it acts as a methyl donor, it's good for the neurotransmitters, it's good for the cell membranes. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, leave them down below. This is Chester signing off. We're due for our ride and our walk. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. All right.